Right guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to continue adding layers and layers of noise as we've discussed. We're going to look in this video at how we can put those big crack lines in there uh, and how we can tweak around and sort of manipulate these density values on our volume to give us the look that we're going for. So using a little a bit of simple mathematics and um, and a, a few nodes will will be able to add some interesting cracks on a large scale and then in the next video we'll add some finer detailed scratches and cracks onto onto our rock surface so let's jump right in the majority of our work is going to be done in the volume vop uh, again so um, before I continue just let me make my background dark just before I forget and then turn off my grid so I can see what I'm doing okay yeah so we'll jump into the volume vop and this is what we've got so far so let's just review what we've got we've got we're taking our density which ultimately is can we see the voxel or not um, if, if the voxel has a density above, the, above a threshold we can see it if not it doesn't so what we're doing is we're taking that density value and we're adding some noise to it and then we're outputting it back into its own density so what we're doing is we're just increasing the noise throughout the the volume field this is our first base layer of noise what we want to do is take this um, and recreate it again but this time for the for the cracks okay so I'm going to give myself a little bit of room over here and I'm going to sort of push this base noise up here let's say yeah and just tidy my node network up a little bit because we're going to be making lots of the layers of these um, so yeah so try and keep ourselves nice and neat so something like that maybe so this is our final final output here isn't it as I disconnect it so this is our initial first layer okay and then we output our our final density so what I'm going to do just to keep things mega quick and this is how I, I, I tend to work what I'll do is I'll take this little mini network here of noise that I know kind of works I'm going to hold down all and make a copy of it and then plug in this second copy into our density output okay because I know these settings are working for us here okay this works fine this is our base noise but what this gives me uh, the opportunity to do is I can work on a new system down here okay so what I want to do is um, start generating some cracks in this in this noise node so we know that this our basic noise up here is fine we don't want to touch that because we're happy with that but for this one we can start introducing some uh, some changes to our noise pattern all right so what I'm going to do first of all is I, I know I want it to be stripes so it's it's those cracks that form in like a line isn't it so what I'll do is I'll just up the frequency and this Y component to like five see what that gives us okay and you can see we're starting to get these lines appearing um, so let's maybe just try dropping some of the other components down a little bit and what I'm looking for is um, some sort of quite thick well I'll show you exactly where's my pure ref uh, so what we're going for are these really deep crevices here that we want to uh, indicate in our rock and you can see it across um, a lot of them they've got these quite sharp cracks so let's see if we can sort of get something like that and what I'll do again with our fit node I'll just try and rough something in and again I, I apologize this is going to be uh, a lot of just watching me dial in values uh, that and just kind of hoping for the best really um, so we don't want to go too wild with it so I'm just looking to cut them in all right 
And then what I can do is I can clamp it again using another fit range just to really start to dial in those values. Um, so let's have a look. I can really start to clamp those crack values in. Um, Sorry, my PC has been very, uh, very sluggish, uh, capturing and working with such high, high resolution voxels. It's kind of uh, So what you will find on this fit range node, you can clamp those values in even further. So we're clamping them once and then we're kind of clamping them again. And eventually you'll start to get these, um, these shapes coming through, these crack shapes. And we can sort of, we can start to build in these base shapes so let's just go back to our noise and start adding uh, maybe 10 is a bit too much so what about five okay we'll just add one on that take that down to zero okay what about yeah i think maybe 10 and then one okay yeah so we're starting to get some lines appearing now that's kind of where we're wanting to go with it. Um, let's go to this fit range unclamp, the E fit here, and then just give ourselves a little bit more crack going in. So that's, I'm playing with a destination max there. All right, so we've got something like that. And then we we'll just maybe dial that back a little bit. get something that we're happy with okay so we're starting to get some quite big cracks going on there so what we want to do now because remember we've got two systems we've got this system and now we've got this system we want to add these together we want to add these two noises together and then output the density okay so just bear with me a second so let's drop down another add node All right, and I'm going to delete those add nodes just to keep myself clear on what I'm working on. So we've got our system here at the top and we want to add these two together. So our two noises get added together. Okay. And then finally, once we've added our noises together, we want to add in, we need to add that to our density value and then plug that up to our output. So now what you'll find is we're combining those two noises together. So we've got the, the cracks and the lines. Um, obviously the lines look a bit wacky at the moment, so we need a, an, another level of control on that. So before we add, so before we add these two noises together, let's put down a multiply constant okay and we can just drop this value and we can sort of dial in our how many cracks we want something like that and then let's just play around with this fit range I think we can get something a bit better
And yeah, like I said, it's not the most exciting video tutorial in the world, but it's just kind of finding values that are going to work. The values will be totally different for you as well, because you'll no doubt be working with different shapes. So it is just a matter of playing around with adding these noises together and, and sort of getting the results and uh, the results that you're going for. So what I'm going to do is just drop that noise value. And just going backwards and forwards, playing with the different fit ranges and sort of aiming to get the um, the look that you want. Okay, so that's giving us, uh, okay, so we need to flip that around. Okay. So there we go, now we're starting to get this nice crack, li nice large crack pattern that we were going for. And if you want to tone down, like obviously that's going in far too deep uh, at the moment. We can always, this is what we put that multiply constant down because we can multiply it um, by half to reduce it by half. So, you know, we only want that to be, we want that to be quite subtle. And now we're starting to get the look that I was, I was aiming for, these big cracks. So I can start bringing back in some of that additional noise from... That's interesting. We're getting some interesting shapes there. We're probably too, a bit too aggressive on the uh, on the clamping there. Yeah. So you can see how the fit range is really clamping those values down. So you know if you're not seeing anything, try playing around with the the, the min and max values of your of your clamping nodes of your fit range nodes because you can start to see how that is bringing in those those crack shapes now. Okay. So what I will suggest we do at this point is I'm going to continue playing around with this to get the look that I'm going for. Uh, don't forget to refer back to your reference. Uh, and like I said, what I'm aiming for are these big, th thick, deep cracks that we're seeing um, like here. That's what I'm kind of aiming for. Uh, so have a play around with the settings. Uh, and in the next video, we'll look at the, the uh, an additional layer of noise uh, that runs across these rocks. Okay, so thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you next time.